He was getting old and paunchy, and his hair was falling fast, and he sat around the legion telling stories of the past, of a war that he had fought and the deeds that he had done in his exploits with his buddies. They were heroes, every one. And though sometimes to his neighbors his tales became a joke, all his legion buddies listened, for they knew whereof he spoke. But we'll hear his tales no longer, for old Bill has passed away, and the world's a little poor, for a soldier died today. He will not be mourned by many, for he lived an ordinary, quiet, uneventful life, held a job quietly going his way, and the world won't know his passing. Through a soldier died today. If we cannot do him honor while he's here to hear the praise, then at least let him homage at the end of his days, perhaps just a simple headline in a paper that would say, our country is in mourning, for a soldier died today. Uncle Leo Ninsini is a hero to me. His family immigrated to the United States from Italy, so he was able to speak both Italian and English. When he first started school, he couldn't speak any English. Before the war, he drove a log truck, which was a dangerous job back then. His brother Robert was crushed by a load of logs that was <laughs> incorrectly loaded and tied down on the truck. When World War II began, Uncle Leo joined the Army and served in France. With his truck driving experience, he drove a supply truck. The U.S. Army was advancing across France. It was moving so fast that the supplies couldn't keep up with them. In some cases, the tanks stopped dead because they ran out of gas. Uncle Leo was born a born leader and was put in charge of a lot of trucks with drivers reporting to him. He went to Europe a private and was promoted to master sergeant. He still rode with the convoys and they frequently were shelled by the Germans, so there were lots of casualties. The weather was very cold, below freezing, and snow was not uncommon. One time, it was so cold, he spent, on, he slept on top of a manure pile to keep from freezing to death. He was in France for the biggest battle of the war, the Battle of the Bulge. The 82nd Airborne Division was surrounded by the Germans and George Patton's 3rd Army rushed to save them before they were all killed. Uncle Leo and his trucks worked 24 hours a day to keep the 3rd Army supplied with fuel, ammunition, and rations. When the war was over, Uncle Leo went back to driving log trucks. The timber he delivered to the Oregon sawmills was used to build homes that were in high demand by the returning servicemen. Uncle Leo is now 94 and recently honored with other survivors of the Battle of the Bulge with a trip to Washington, D.C. and tours of the capitals and the monuments. Uncle Leo was a hero in peace and in 